Hey guys, it's Norm Lisk again. I'm going to do post-game analyses of casts that I do because now that I have some kind of magical YouTube enchantment, I can upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. So what that does for me is all of my games will now, from now on, be one part and they'll cut greatly cut down in my... Um, editing time and my compressing time and transferring it to a, um, an HD file type. It's H.264. In case you guys are wondering how to make it HD, you have to convert it to that type of file. But regardless, it's going to cut down on my stress and time, and therefore, as long as it's relevant, I want to show you, <coughs> through the perspective of whoever lost, um, some suggestions and points in the game in which I feel like they could have improved their position and so it's going to be important that you watch the actual games first and I'll think of some way to notate it so that somebody doesn't accidentally watch the results <laughs> after the actual game. Don't mind this game timer. <laughs> uh, the game isn't very long at all. I just had it, I had the game open on accident the whole time I was like playing Skyrim and stuff so <laughs> it is not a two hour game I promise you. But you should know that already, because you should watch the actual game first. It's ZVZ08. So I did win this game, and I think I found a couple of points in which Voris... Vorapsack... <laughs> Vorapsack could have done things a little bit differently. We have very similar build orders. I think I'm going to stray away from showing everybody's camera for the most part though just his camera so he scouts spawning pool of gas we have a very similar build I, I'm going to say this again I do not recommend drone scouting unless you need to know his position if you're doing an early ling rush of some kind it just cuts your production actually quite a bit to have that one early drone missing especially when you're going for the speedling gas right away, so you're going to put three drones on your extractor, and uh, that one extra drone mining minerals actually does make a huge difference because it is so early in the game. And at one point, I am I had one drone before we both start diverging from our original. I think we both went 14 gas, 14 pool. You can rewind it if you're curious, but so he gets a couple scouting lings. He brings his drone back, which is good. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. And he goes immediately into a pretty safe expansion. Um, around the 21 supply mark is a good a good time to do safe expansions, like against Protoss. I have stopped doing fast expands completely. Because in one game, I actually saw, I watched the replay, I saw the guy, he had a gateway building. He saw me fast expand, canceled the gateway, built a forge, and cannoned me out successfully. <laughs> Which is also, I could have defended it, I just didn't see it in time, and there were a lot of other factors, but he did a successful cannon rush after canceling his gateway, and it was about halfway complete. So that just shows the power of Protoss, and that was completely my fault for losing that game. But. You want to get your pool out first, first fast expand with Protoss, and it actually doesn't put you behind that much. He sees my speed. My link speed is a little bit before his. He gets a lot of speed links here, and he just saw a roach. He saw this roach because his overlord placement is very good. It's far enough away so that if he reacts in time, he can save it from a queen that's running to kill it. But it's just enough of my ramp to see what kind of units I have, and he can fly in to see an expansion timing if he wants to. <coughs> this is very good overlord placement. But he sees my roach here, and he sees a couple speedlings, and he sees that I see his expansion. Right now, he needs to see if I'm expanding myself, because <coughs> he sees roaches. He's now just throwing down his roach, Warren, right now. Um right now his your primary goal should be to see if I'm expanding and then just barely second to that goal is to see if I saturate it because it could be a feign expansion people do are doing that a lot more these days where 
they do an expansion so you scout it and you think you're safe but they're doing some kind of ling all in and it's very devastating very devastating so he does he scouts my expansion that's exactly what you need to do <coughs> he's kind of a roach count four roaches and that's accurate I should have been hiding some of them because at this point um, just like I went through in the original game I am planning on aggression so he needs to fly this thing in I would actually suicide this overlord in right now up to here and just see what kind of an army I have because if he did he'd see five more roaches and banelings and that extra little bit of time should give him enough time to throw down as many spine crawlers as you possibly can he is drastically ahead in harvesters he did a very good job of that um, 35 to 17 he's doing an incredible job this is basically an all-in attack that I'm doing because if it fails my economy is pretty much exactly half of his and he has to know that because he saw all those roaches he saw now he sees the banelings um, this is basically all of his army and it's good to have them at the watchtower but you have to consider what what your opponent from his perspective what your opponent so me what I'm seeing what he sees that I see <coughs> he saw that I saw his expansion he saw that I saw all of these he made too many zerglings he accounted for it he has a very good economy now but originally I saw that he had a lot of zerglings so basically he can see me move out his overlord placement is spectacular this is his this is his vision he can see the whole basically the whole trail to his doorstep and he has almost 400 minerals and 500 gas um, it turns out I didn't know that until right now that he's teching to layer I didn't notice that what you need to do is especially because he's teching you need to throw down a lot as many spines as you can afford basically because you're neglecting your army to do all this tech and economy and uh, you just don't have an army this is his entire army for this run by which was a very good idea it works a lot of the time when Zerg I'll admit it this is an all-in when Zerg go all-in like this these run bys can do a lot of damage and then if you hold off the attack your opponent is in an even weaker position due to your run by so if he had those five spines that he could have afforded let's just say that and his roaches are popping right now this timing would have been spectacular well close to spectacular um, his rally was very un unfortunate a couple seconds earlier and I think he could have done that maybe he was supply capped but if these roaches pop just a little bit sooner and he had like uh, I always put down an Evo Chamber also right here almost every game when I'm defending Evo Chamber spine 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 and he could have afforded that we saw how many minerals he had and it would have been done just about the time that the roaches got to his front door he wouldn't have had to sacrifice all these drones to hold this off um, spines are your best friend when you're going such a heavy macro style zerg play you have to have them especially when he saw he saw me building up the roaches that should be a very big red flag to throw up as many spines as you can possibly afford and maybe even ex an extra queen for transfuses um, he had the defensive roach warren and he wasn't producing roaches which is fine this is a very good play to have this once you scout roaches throw it on your own roach warren that's the only way to deal with them and I have no problem with um, not producing them until you see your opponent move out because that's how this style of play works you see the guy move out with his roaches and you build your own roaches but the thing is you need spines just in case you're a little bit late or maybe I was teching to roach speed that would have been maybe about that time um, just those four spines would have allowed his roaches to accumulate in a group instead of me being able to pick them off as they spawn from here and then moving up and killing the other group up here I think I've iterated that enough <laughs> so if you're in this position and y you can just sense some kind of timing attack it would be good to 
sacrificing your overload or overlord around that five minute mark and he would have seen a lot more roaches and he would have seen banelings morphing and he would have seen my crappy saturation and those are too many cues for some kind of all-in you do not even need that many just the fact that he saw those early three or four or five roaches down here that should have been enough for him to make defensive spine crawlers just invest in him right away because you're gonna get attacked at some point in time and it's better to invest that and then feel safer to drone up harder than to just wait and hope that you have enough larva to hold off his roaches with your roaches alone and then they might not even pop in time so um please 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 let me know if you enjoy this post game analysis it'll also give me a chance to feel more comfortable casting the games that i lose because if i can search and find a reason why I lost and then cast it, it'll help me out tremendously too, as well. Um, so please, 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 please let me know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. I think it's a good idea. I'm probably just going to do it anyway because I don't s offhand, I can't think of any casters that do it and I think it's it'll help on both ends, especially with my live cast style. I don't have the this will give me the hindsight so this has been a live cast by Normalisk, hoping to make your ladder matter, and uh, thanks for watching.